Hey, it's Dorlene, and I'm actually doing something really fun and different. I'm making a rocker card. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting together, or I'm gluing together the pieces that I cut out with my Cricut, and this design is actually in Design Space. I just um, searched for fruit, and this came up. It's actually part of a pop-up card, but I didn't want that. I just wanted this fruit bundle, so I just deleted everything, or I ungrouped it, and then I deleted the card base, the pop-up section, all that kind of stuff that I did need and basically I just cut out the or sized and then cut out the um, the fruit bundle so there's lots of different colors all of the colors that I use or all the papers that I used were from or are from cut cardstock.com and I'll have a link below there if you order anything from them using my link I'll get a small um, commission so I appreciate that if not that's fine use what you have um, but I put all those together and I didn't want to really show you how I cut it out and how I put it together, but basically I wanted to talk about that. And I just used my circle cutter um, to make the circle, which is the card base for the card. Now I created my rocker card to fit in a regular A2 envelope, so it needed to be at the most five and a half inches. So I used this old, or I, I'm thinking Creative Memory still makes this cutting system, which I've used since the year 2000 and it is now 2022 and it works perfectly fine I don't, I've never had to replace the blades or anything but anyhow so I cut my circle uh, folded it in half and actually when I measured it it was a little bit shorter than five and a half inches but that's fine because it fits in the envelope now that scallop circle I also cut with my Cricut and that's about five inches so I decided that I wasn't going to fold it over and have both pieces the front and back so that's why I'm marking it right now and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in half and then adhere it to the top of the card now I've seen these rockers rocker cards two different one ways one is putting like an easel in the inside and the other is just um and that way it's closed in the inside or as is pattern paper um where the adhesive uh, excuse me the sentiment and the greeting would be in the inside so i'm doing mine with the insole oh my goodness <laughs> easel <laughs> insert um so that's why i kept the back blank as well because i'm going to stamp a sentiment in the back and i don't think that i actually show it but basically i just stamped um a sentiment in the back and that's where i'll put the greeting so once i adhere the scallop circle to this to the um card base i'm drawing on this little grid a standard card which is five and a half by four and a quarter inches and the reason why i'm doing that is because the fruit image or whatever it is that you decide to add cannot be taller or wider than the card dimensions otherwise it won't fit in the envelope so i just drew out the dimensions and then now i'm just kind of eyeballing where i want it to be and then i'm going to flip it over mark where um you know where i'll need to put the adhesive below those marks and then um once i do that again when i flip it over after putting the adhesive then I'll go ahead and um, adhere it to the card. Now I do videos two times a week. One will always be scrapbooking and one will be whatever it is I'm creating in the command center, which is the name of my blog and my um, craft room. So um, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you have um, any questions or comments, definitely do that below as well. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video or how it's going so far. So I bought this bare, I think it's called berry or barely glue. And it's like the thing to buy right now. I guess it's really hard to get it. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I bought this a long time ago and I just never used it. I don't know why. So I'm trying it out. Um, it does seem a little, um, what's the word? I hate to use the word wet because it is a wet glue, but um, I don't know. I felt like I needed to, once I adhered the fruit and everything together, I really used my acrylic block to hold it down because I felt like, and probably it was me, I was just being a little heavy handed on the glue. I just felt it was a little bit more warpier than like the Nuvo liquid glue that I use or even the Tombow liquid glues that I've used. But again, I'm sure it's me because everybody swears by this glue. So I'd love to hear your comments about it. Um, I think maybe it's just, I need to get used to it. But um, I do like the fact that it came with all these different ad attachments so I could do like a real fine um, amount coming out, those kind of things. That's actually really important, especially when you have little tiny 
um, bits. But anyhow, that's a card. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. And I can only imagine how fun it's going to be when the recipient opens it. So I am, so this is what I'm talking about. So I, you could open it up, leave it open, and then put your sentiment and your greetings in the inside. But I decided I was going to put a little easel, I'm going to use the word mechanism. I'm not sure if that's the the right term and basically it's just a two by two piece of cardstock um, I just grabbed a piece of scrap that was on my desk and then you um, you score it every half inch so a half inch one and uh, one and a half uh, do the accordion fold put adhesive on the first one and the last one just like I'm doing here and then just place it in the middle just like that so it just keeps the rocker card together now i use some i use some pretty heavy cardstock so i wouldn't have been a problem but i'm guessing if you used a lighter cardstock that would be a really good idea and then like i mentioned before you would just put your sentiment in the back so um, i just used the sentiment called um you are berry special even though there's only one berry but i figured any fruit um uh sentiment i put on would work fine I, uh, I don't normally use my scissors and eyeball, and if I do, it's usually super, super wonky. But this was so skinny, and just really one straight cut, I, I just went for it with my scissors. If you look closely, it is not perfect, but it's perfect for what I need. I did decide to put some three um, or foam adhesive in the back, just so it kind of lifted up a little bit. If you noticed when the fruit or when the card was rocking, it seemed a little bit... Um, right side heavy so um at first i'm thinking okay i'm just gonna put that right in the middle but then i ended up putting it more on the left side so it felt like the weight matched a little better and that's probably a good tip so if you are planning on putting like uh you know enamel dots or any kind of uh thicker or heavier embellishments make sure that there it's even on both the right and the left side and i just use my white gel pen to add a little bit of um, highlights here and there nothing too much just a little bit of white on the the orange um, wedges and then also on the watermelon skin but isn't that so cute i hope you enjoy it give me a thumbs up if you do again don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i hope to uh see you next week bye